look, Martha, he's doing clickbait now. Okay, uh, this morning this is a short-ish uh, video about a 12 volt, 10 amp LED power supply, or supposedly it could be used to power a laptop. I don't know of any laptops that run off of 12 volts, 10 amps, but anyways. Uh, so let me tell you why I bought this. I, I'm not running LEDs with it. What I'm running is I'm, I've got a project where I'm going to... Uh, I purchased a, a bilge vent fan and I want to use it as a fume extractor for when I weld. It uses 12 volts. It claims it's 6 amps, but when I've run it, it's like 4.5 amps. It seems to work really good. It moves 270 cubic feet per minute. But it needs uh, quite a lot of amperage, and I didn't want to build a big, heavy power supply. I wanted something somewhat portable that I could power it with. And so I ordered this. Now, it does work, it does power the fan, but it has an, uh, one problem, which I don't know if it's by design or what. Um, I think it may be something by design with switching power supplies. When you hook the fan up to it and you power it up, uh, it won't power the fan completely. The fan will start to power up, power off, start to power up, power off. Now you can get around this by using a thermistor. Um, I happen to have a couple of them and I tried one or two of them and one of them I found worked somewhat good um, in that it will slowly ramp up the voltage or the amperage as you use it <clears throat> or slowly ramps up the voltage as the amperage increases or something like that. Anyways, um, it means I can use it. Now, when I got this, um, the first thing I noticed was that it was very light. And while that doesn't, with, with switching power supplies, lightness doesn't always mean it can't handle what it says. But, you know, it kind of makes you wonder because I have a 19 volt, uh, 4 amp power supply for a laptop <clears throat> that this thing weighs half a pound, eight ounces, and the laptop power supply weighs uh, one and a half pounds. Now I've opened up the laptop power supply and found out why it weighs so much. Uh, it it has a large number of aluminum heat sinks in it and a very large uh, transformer for a switching power supply. <clears throat> uh, so, anyways, I decided I couldn't, couldn't, I had to see what was in this thing. These things are all over the internet, they're all over eBay, and they, they're really cheap, and, but there's no information. There's nothing about them and what's inside, uh, who makes them, whatever. And I so I went to take this apart. First, I thought it was glued. It's not glued. It's actually snapped together, and uh, it was actually somewhat easy to get apart. Although I did use a heat gun on it. Um, basically, there's you know, snaps that hold it together here and uh, here, and possibly on the ends. So here's what's inside this open this up carefully and we're gonna go I'm gonna go zoom in all right so um, if you notice right about there it has zoom in even more are we in focus oh, it doesn't look like we're in focus
Okay. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much in focus. You'll see it has a, uh, it says light on and PB-1480-1. Oh, what is this? 7DV1. So this is actually a light on power supply. Um, for what exactly, I don't know. I've Googled, I've used my Google Foo on this, on the part number, and it, I can't find anything, nothing at all. No variations of the part number, no partial part numbers, nothing matches this exactly. So we're going to just do some light examination of this and find out if it possibly can handle what they said. Now I've already had this open and I've already gone through all this, so um, we'll just sh I'll just show you some of the things that I found about this that makes it sketchy, uh, or at least appear sketchy, and they w will need to be fixed. Um, but the uh, none of these things. Basically, if you're wondering, yes, this can do what it says it does. I haven't tested it to any higher than four and a half amps but I'm pretty certain that it can handle it. So first off, we're going to pull this out of here. Um, it's just, it was just held in with pieces of foam. And <clears throat> first thing you may notice is that there are some wires cut. There's two over here and there's two over here. This is the input side where the AC comes in. This is the output where the DC comes in. Uh, what this tells me is that these board, this board was probably either a pole, meaning that somebody got a pile of these, possibly through a recycler or something, and they work, but they say light on, and for whatever reason, they were pulled out of their original cases, which that would have been interesting, um, whatever they were inside of, and they had their wires cut, and they were, uh, they had new wires soldered onto them, and by the way, everything was done like as quickly as they could possibly do it, uh, probably by slave labor in China or something. Anyways, so first thing I did was I checked the, the size of these wires. Uh, the input side wires are 16 gauge, which means that this wire can handle, uh, I think it's a maximum of 10 amps. And this wire is, I'm sorry, it's, I got that back. This is 18 gauge and it can handle a maximum of 10 amps. And this side is 16 gauge and it can handle a max of 13 amps. And for some odd reason they cut these wires off and they soldered on these anemis, anemic pieces of shit. Um, let's see what size this is because I'm going to replace this anyways. Let's see if I can get this off without. And I'll show you why this is a little bit sketchy. Uh, let's see. This wire is. Twenty. This is all rusty. Twenty six gauge. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know what that the amp rating is of that, but I will put it 
in the just down below here. Uh, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's not what this should be. Uh, the reason is that there's a fuse in here, and it's rating this fuse here is rated at 6.3 amps, 250 volts. This wire <laughs> cannot handle 6.3 amps, so uh, that wire is going to probably blow. Uh, or at least if, I'm not. I would never put 6.3 amps through that. Uh, so that's going to have to be replaced. That's not a big deal. Um, then you notice that they took this wire and put this, put it here. Now I've already measured this wire. Actually, it says on here what it is. It's uh, six, uh, 18 gauge which means it can handle a max of 10 amps but you want a safety margin so really it should have a 16 gauge wire so you have 13 amps. Now you notice that there's a uh, resistor bodged in here this is for this LED they put an LED in here that is roughly and I mean very roughly aimed at the LED right here and you could just barely see that lit up um, and the fact that they did this quickly because if I'm well when I go when I redo this I'm going to put the LED here I'm just gonna put it straight into the same hole as this and aim it up so that the light lights up a little bit better um, and I'll feel a little bit better about this. The other thing I got to do is I'll have to put a thermistor in here and because I want this to be able to handle the amperage specifically for my application um, I don't want it hiccuping sitting there going just I need it to start up so I have a bunch of thermistors on order and when I get them I'll install them um, and we'll take care of that but we'll also put the LED in this area so that it aims better at that little light pipe. Uh, everything else about this seems to be legit I mean as far as I can tell um, all I could find on this thing was that was lists of some site that uh, said that someone had ordered several hundred thousand of these at one time, but it didn't, you know, couldn't find any specs, couldn't find any manual, couldn't find anything that was useful. So, uh, oh, another thing was that it came with this anemic power cord which um, I don't know what size the wire is in there it's not marked it is it has markings but none of them say the wire size but on the edge here it has a rating of six volts or I'm sorry six amps 250 volts um, this for some reason this plug will not stay in any light socket or any power socket I plug it in. It seems to be too thin and uh, too small. It doesn't matter because it's got a standard, a somewhat standard end on it and um, I have a lot of these so I'm just going to replace it with that. Anyways, that's what's inside this and uh, so do you believe what's inside it? <laughs>